Hello, Spinster Books fans. We're back with another holiday-themed 10-minute story hour. Let's get to it. Today's story is A Pirate's Night Before Christmas, which will take full advantage of my horrible pirate accent. So uh, let's get right to it. "'Twas the night before Christmas aboard the Black Sark. Not a creature was stirring, not even a shark. The stockings were stuck to the bowsprit with tar, in hopes that St. Peggotty soon would be thar. The pirates were snoring like pigs in their beds, while visions of treasure chests danced in their heads. And I, with me spyglass and old scruffy dog, stood watching the crow's nest for ships in the fog. When out in the mist there arose such a racket, I slid down the mast with me sword to attack it. Away to the poop deck I ran very fast. I threw off the anchor and shouted, Avast! Straight up from the sea in the foamy white spray flew eight giant seahorses put in a sleigh. A mean-looking driver a hoist in one leg. Well, shiver me timbers! It must be Sir Peg. More sluggish than flounders, his coursers they came, and he whistled and snarled and called them by name. Now salty, now scurry, now Sinbad and Molly, on cutthroat, on cross eyes, on Roger and Jolly. To the top of the sail, to the top of the mast, now dash away, dash away, dash away fast. And then with a cry and a crack of his whip, down came his sleigh on the deck of our ship. A jolly old sea dog was enormously fat, and so was the parrot that perched on his hat. He was dressed all in black from his head to his heels, and his clothes were all covered with seaweed and eels. His eye, how it twinkled, his dreadlocks, how twiny. His scars were like crossbones, his gold tooth how shiny. His mouth was turned up with a nasty old look. The silver gleamed sharp on the point of his hook. A scary white skull he had hung on his ear soon gave me to know I had nothing to fear. He spoke not a word but went straight to his sack and stuffed all the stockings with coins and hardtack. The Black Sark was soon filled with holiday cheer and loaded with gifts for each good buck on ear. Anchors and hornpipes and cackle for eggs, pearls and red sashes for Bonnie and Meg, a cauldron for cook filled with pieces of shank, and just for the cap'n, a shiny new plank. But oh, me heartbroken and tears in my eyes, I said to myself, blimey, where is me prize? But he hopped in his sleigh, to his team gave a roar. It's time to return to the briny deep floor. Then just when I thought it me worst Christmas day, a parchment of paper flew down off the sleigh. I was the best present I ever got, a map to a treasure Xmas marks the spot. I laughed and I danced and I shouted with glee as I went up to slay and then down to the sea. I heard him exclaim as he splashed such a star. Merry Christmas, me buckles, and a happy new year. Um, yeah. So, uh, my pirate accent is not great and tends to get me a little tongue-tied. However... I think it's it's good that pirates have their own night before Christmas, and uh, it seemed like a good story. It was so good, in fact, that somebody went to sleep. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Miss Charlie. Yep, she's not coming back to us, folks. She's out like a light. That was... The 10-Minute Story Hour, Pirates Night Before Christmas. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.